not answering his phone. He's with his buddies. <laughs> He's fine. Holy cow. Seal with a sacrifice to set him free. Carson, now! I gotta imagine that starring in Spirit Halloween the movie, you're a big Halloween fan. I have a lot of like guilt actually surrounding Halloween, but I, I really, you know how you get these ideas as a parent of like, what you want to be and do. Like my mom was this incredible artist in so many ways and she would make my brother and I epic Halloween costumes. Like I was Queen Elizabeth one year. She made me a tornado one year with like 12 different tiers of fabric and a Fisher Price helicopter, like, on, you know, mounted on a black beanie. Like it was epic. So she over delivered every Halloween and I am a spirit Halloween mom. Like whenever those stores pop up, I'm like, we're going kids. And they, they're they like, hooray. And so when this movie came around and I was telling the kids like, oh, you know, thinking about making this Halloween movie. They're like, oh, you might be in a good movie. Like that would be awesome. Like you should go do that. <laughs> I mean, I haven't fact checked this, but I think this is the first retail store being adapted into a movie. How did you react when you first heard that they were doing this? I do think it's unusual. I've not heard of say like Bass Pro Shops, the movie. That'd be weird. <laughs> right. I can't really think of another retail store that would make a good movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not to like smack anybody down right now, but like Claire's the movie, not sure. Were you nervous at all that they like, that, that they could make that work as a, as a concept, like hearing about it before you read the script? What's funny about the whole thing is a, as a concept, as a, <laughs> the only likely transition from retail store to the cinemas is, yes, I get it a little bit unorthodox, but the movie works just plain as a movie. So it takes place in a spirit Halloween store. They could have called it like Spirit Dead Halloween and it would have just been some, some kind of like weird rip off. Like it's really just a fun story that's like a coming of age, you know, story about these kids. And so it's just great that the store is sort of like game to make it really. Do you get free costumes from Spirit Halloween for, now for life? Is that part of the contract? I should talk to someone about that. Um, I've certainly given them enough money. They really come through for me. I'm just not I'm not crafty and handy like my mom. I'm I'm a Spirit Halloween mom. I can't. I'll I'll go there in about two weeks. You are a mom in real life. What do you enjoy about playing the mom role on screen? I feel incredibly qualified to do it. That is. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, my my main thing. It's kind of like not calling anybody out, but yeah, like when you see someone holding a baby in a movie where they're clearly like, what is this? You know what I mean? Like I, I know what I'm doing. What's funny about being a movie mom that I have to keep reminding myself is that movie mom is nicer than real life mom. Like in the beginning of the movie, I'm having some harsh words with my sort of like I, I, he's given me attitude, my, my preteen in this movie. I'm sort of yelling at him to like, cut it out and this and that. And I'm using my real mom voice. And they very uh, discreetly, but creatively like cut away from me being that angry. <laughs> Because movie mom doesn't get that angry. Movie mom's going to dial it down a little bit. So yep. that's, uh, that's yep. a quick little lesson I learned. But what do I like about being movie mom? Way more relaxed schedule. Fantastically easy. <laughs> and close to home. Have you done a lot of mom roles? I have not. I'm just starting to make that mom money, Kevin. Just getting okay. it out. I had to wait a long time. Which starting I still to make that mom me. cash. Yeah, right? I was the mom in the remake of She's All That called He's All That. So yeah, mom of teens, here we come.